these bleeder screws on the calipers can just be a pain to break loose. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We have a can of PB Blaster. We got it for Christmas and why unwrap it when you know what it is. We'll spray a little bit on the bolt there. Normally you wanna try to get it on the first spray. Sometimes you miss though. And then we can take off the rubber thing if you want, you can let the penetrating fluid and PB Blaster sink in, but really, it really penetrates in the first few seconds, I guess. So this is the uh, 10 millimeter I was gonna try to break it off loose with, but it's way too loose, as you can see. That would probably strip it out. There's way too much play in there. So I went and got a nine millimeter and that fits right on just how we want it, so make sure you have the right size wrench on there or else you'll strip it, which you don't want to do. Now these are the um, line wrenches that are built for this, and they have the extra corner there, but they always seem to flex and they always fail. So the best way to, use, best way to get it off is with the right size socket. So this is a nine millimeter socket, and we'll just tap it in. And then whenever you tap it on, what that does is it breaks some of the lo rust loose and it'll put the socket on so you can break it loose. Now we'll put a little pressure on it just to see if it breaks loose. There we go. That broke now loose. if we did round it, this would be the best way to get it off. It grabs in three points, so it grabs evenly. It's better than this, which only grabs in two points and would probably squash it on the threads, which makes it harder to take off. Now, these are amazing vice grips and work great for anything else. So when a bolt is stuck like that, especially the bleeder screw, that's about the only way with the socket and then pounding it on, that's the only way we've found to be able to get it off. You never want to use an open-end wrench to try to break the bolt loose, but you can use it for just loosening it and tightening it whenever you're bleeding the system. So if we pack grease around the bleeder screw and the caliper, that's sometimes a spot where air can be introduced. So packing the grease there really will make sure that no air gets introduced. And then we'll be able to pump it just like we would with the one man system. And then near the end, we still like to do it with the two man system. Now, if we go ahead and pump the brake, you can see all the air that's coming out of the system and then going into the bottle. And then this is working pretty well. There's a lot of air in that line. So we'll tap the nine millimeter back on. And this one always seems to work. And now you can see the bleed screw is coming out so that's good we broke it loose just how I wanted it so the nipple broke on the bleeder screw here when we were trying to get it out so we're just gonna have to take this off the rest of the way and then put a new one in there we go. so now we'll go ahead and take out the broken bleeder screw and we can put in the new one that we just picked up and that threads right in. It has nice, clean everything. And that sure looks a lot better. Now we'll go ahead and close it up with a 10 millimeter. And it's not some weird nine millimeter size anymore. This is a nice, clean 10 millimeter. It's nice and tight, it won't be leaking anymore, and it sure looks nice.